Image Acquisition and Exam Technique for Ultrasound Biomicroscopy with Quantel Ultrasound Systems. In this brief video, we'll review the basics of ultrasound biomicroscopy, or UBM, using ultrasound devices from Quantel Medical. We will cover equipment setup, methods and features of UBM, and indications for its use. UBM uses high-frequency ultrasound to create detailed images of the anterior segment, including the cornea, lens, and the anterior chamber. UBM can be used for diagnostic and measurement purposes. Its indications include glaucoma diagnosis, evaluation of the iris and ciliary body, and pre- and post-operative evaluation for phacic intraocular lens implantation. We'll go over some of these in more detail later in the presentation. The Compact Touch STS UBM system includes a portable software and monitor unit with color LCD LED touchscreen and a 50 MHz linear B scan probe. UBM can also be performed with the Aviso S and the Aviso AB systems using 25 MHz and 50 MHz probes. All of these systems are designed to be used with the ClearScan device, a flexible, fluid filled probe cover which creates a smooth, reliable interface between the probe and the surface of the eye. After the Aviso S is switched on, a startup screen appears. Selecting the scan icon opens the examination screen. From this screen or the touchscreen interface, the examiner can prepare for a UBM scan by choosing the 50 MHz linear probe, LIN50, for UBM and the eye to be examined. For the contact method of scanning, the probe can be fitted with the protective, fluid-filled clear scan tip or with a small, removable window. Both of these attachments are disposable and must be changed between patients, at which point the probe itself must also be drained of water, cleaned, and disinfected. Performing UBM with the clear scan tip, which rests directly on the eye, is preferred. The liquid in the clear scan attachment creates a firm but comfortable head that completely conforms to the ocular surface, providing high quality images while maintaining a reliably safe distance between the cornea and the oscillating transducer in the probe. Anesthetic drops are administered to the eye to be examined. Ideally, for patient and examiner comfort, the patient should be in a reclining position. A drop of ophthalmic gel or artificial tear should be instilled to smooth the interface between the clear scan tip and the corneal surface. When using the removable window technique, a generous amount of ophthalmic gel, such as Gentile gel, should be applied directly to the patient's eye, with a tissue placed below the eye to prevent gel from running down the patient's cheek. In general, both of these techniques are more favorable for performing UBM than with an immersion bath, which requires a bit more finesse on the part of the examiner and can be more difficult for patients to tolerate. Features of UBM As with any ultrasound imaging, proper positioning and orientation of the probe are essential for performing UBM successfully. However, in contrast to lower frequency B scan imaging, in which the probe is placed opposite the area to be examined. In UBM, the probe is placed directly over the area to be examined. The white marker on the UBM probe corresponds to the right-hand side of the image on the screen. So, if the probe is positioned perpendicular to the eye with the marker directed towards the nose, the nasal aspect is represented on the right side of the screen. If the marker is directed at 12 o'clock, the superior aspect of the eye is visible on the right side of the screen. The structures nearest the tip of the probe are displayed at the top of the screen. A transverse UBM scan takes a cross-section of the anterior segment through six clock hours, whereas a longitudinal scan takes a radial image through a single clock hour. An axial scan directs the sound beam from front to back and so allows imaging of the lens. The patient should be looking in primary gaze as the probe is placed gently on the cornea. There are three directions of axial scan. A vertical axial scan is performed with the marker in the superior position. A horizontal axial scan has the marker in the nasal position. And an oblique axial scan has the marker up but at an angle. By using transverse, longitudinal, and axial scans, the anterior segment structures can be imaged in any plane. The patient may need to adjust their gaze a little to accommodate the probe surface over areas of interest on the conjunctiva or sclera, or when it is necessary to evaluate the areas just behind the ciliary body. The recommended sequence for scanning is as follows. 
One, perform vertical and horizontal axial scans first, followed by oblique axials if needed. Two, next perform transverse scans in all quadrants, beginning with superior, then nasal, inferior, and temporal. With each transverse scan, find the pupil and slowly move the probe past the limbus. Three, then perform longitudinal scans in any clock hour. Four, use oblique transverse scans as needed. Indications for UBM. UBM is an excellent tool for creating dynamic images of the anterior eye structures, including the cornea, anterior chamber, angles, iris, and ciliary body, as well as for performing pre- and post-surgical assessments. UBM allows for a fairly detailed examination of the corneal structures and can identify corneal edema, help characterize subepithelial scarring following disease or refractive surgery, locate the depth of corneal opacities to guide surgical intervention, and help examine the graft-host junction after corneal transplant surgery. Assessment of the anterior chamber allows for detection of abnormalities, such as anterior chamber membranes and or opacities, and for the measurement of anterior chamber dimensions. UBM is a key assessment tool in defining angle anatomy and diagnosing and differentiating various forms of glaucoma. As the only imaging tool that can see behind the pigmented iris, UBM represents a quantum leap forward in glaucoma management. UBM may be highly useful in conjunction with other assessment tools for glaucoma, such as gonioscopy. Since it can be performed in a darkened room, UBM overcomes a shortcoming of light imaging techniques, which cause the pupil to constrict and can alter the angle architecture. UBM can be used to identify abnormalities of the iris, including plateau iris, convex iris with pupillary block, iris cysts, and solid iris tumor. The structure and any abnormalities of the ciliary body, including cysts or other lesions, are also visible on UBM. UBM can be used to show efficacy and for ongoing follow-up after surgical intervention for the treatment of glaucoma. It can also be used for follow-up assessment after cataract surgery to detect and clarify complications such as IOL displacement. UBM is especially useful for preoperative measurements on patients undergoing phacic IOL surgery, including anterior chamber depth and sulcus to sulcus distance. Some systems, like the Compact Touch STS UBM, feature phacic IOL nomograms that allow implant sizes to be fine tuned by incorporating information about the phacic IOL shape and simulating IOL position between the sulcuses. Such software also allows assessment for safe distances between the natural lens and the cornea, ensuring that phacic IOL sizing is correct and complication risk is minimized. UBM is also used to rule out abnormalities, such as an iris cyst, that might influence the surgeon's choice for phacic IOL placement. Completing the exam. Once the images have been obtained, rinse the examined eye with eye wash. Remind the patient to avoid the urge to rub the eye. Thoroughly clean the area and equipment according to the health and safety requirements of the clinic. Inform the patient of next steps regarding review and reporting of UBM findings. To recap, in this presentation, we discussed setup, the clear scan device and removable window gel methods of scanning, orientation and use of the UBM probe, imaging techniques with UBM, and its clinical indications. Quantel Medical's exemplary ultrasound technology has brought multiple innovations to ultrasound specialists worldwide since 1993. We hope you've found this demonstration of UBM scanning using Quantel ultrasound systems helpful. For more information about this technology and Quantel's complete range of diagnostic ultrasound products, please visit www.quantel-medical.com.